treating these holes with penetrating resin. And I'll cut these holes in here, so I'm treating them with penetrating resin uh, to help keep water from getting in. And then after we, after I do this, um, a couple of times we're going to paint these uh, boards again. So Tame these are the holes that we drilled in for the ventilation. That's right. And the beaver. Yep, to ventilate the uh, lockers underneath and the space under the mattress that is uh, the space created by the uh, hypervent that goes under the mattress so that that area can breathe and we can avoid getting a bunch of condensation on it. So uh, you've been working on that and I've been doing a lot of phone calls today. I didn't realize shopping for foam was going to be such a yeah <laughs> such a tedious experience. <laughs> so we've decided to go with two inches of polyurethane foam with uh, two inches of uh, latex topper glued together. I've been spent quite a bit of time on uh, on the phone with a couple of different foam companies and. That was the suggestion that both of them came to when we were talking about how much we're living on the boat and using the boat and durability and all of that, so. But we want something that's gonna last, so, you know, we're willing to pay. Yeah, well, that's good, because we're gonna. Because we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I think we budgeted, uh, I was thinking this was probably between uh, the V-Birth cushion and the settee cushion. I would kind of budgeted for about 1200 bucks, and we're actually uh, up to, with the quote I got from one foam shop, was going to be about 1600 and then we're going to be paying an extra 400 bucks for a new settee cushion cover to be made. Yeah. So that puts that whole project at about two grand, which is oh, just a little bit more than we had anticipated. Yeah. So um, I'll, I'll save probably about uh, 500 bucks by ordering the um, the latex toppers through Amazon and doing the work that work myself, which is no big deal. I don't mind doing that. So be interesting to see how those turn out. Can't wait to sleep on them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I hope they last. But no, in our case, we're going to be using them for year, years, we hope. Well, if, it, if we spend $2,000 out of our maintenance fund on it, that means, you know, our maintenance fund is uh, geared towards $100 a month. The $2,000, that's 20 months worth of maintenance. I think we're going to have to up the amount after this particular uh, refit. It's just getting oh, more well, expensive. Well, uh... We'll have a, we'll review the situation after we're all done and get tally up all the all the bills. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to that, aren't you? <laughs> That's just math, you know. <laughs> it's just math. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back inside and do a little bit more research, and uh, okay. I'll leave you to it. Yep. All right. See you in a few. Okay. Later. Hey. What? What you got there? <laughs> well, you told me to hold it. True enough. Here. Thank you. Not bad, is it? No, nope, not bad at all. Ew. No more said. <laughs> what are we doing? Hmm. Well, we're going to uh, put the first coat of paint on these after, after we cut the holes. I've cut the ventilation holes in them. And we sealed those with two coats of penetrating resin and then came back. We'd already sanded them, but then I just came back and hit them to knock the glaze off of these things here. And this is all under the bunk. It won't show at all. So it's not a big deal. The main thing we're trying to do here is seal them up. So I've got an old can of um, uh, Interlux Premium Yacht Enamel, bright white stuff. I went to price a gallon of that out. The other day yeah. at um, Piston and Rudder, $96.90 a gallon. gallon. Woohoo! Well, you know what bottom paint's going for nowadays, right? Oh, but, I know. It's, yeah, so. Oh, it's yeah, incredible. it's expensive, but, you know, so even it, that makes it even more important to buy the quality products. So yeah. that, you know, Make you sure you get it done it right and you don't have to do it yeah. again. 
Because anyway, it, this is a, this is a hidden job. So did I talk over you again? <laughs> this is a hidden job. So it's not going to show. Uh, nope. <laughs> and that's exactly what I was going to say. So there you go. <laughs> Actually, it looks kind of cool with the the lamp. <laughs> it's reflecting really neat in the paint. <laughs> But that is actually all white. Uh, anyway, so I just finished getting the first coat of paint on, and now we have to go wait for it to dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could just stand here and watch it dry. No, I mean, no, I don't think so. The, it's a little too cold for one that. One of those exciting things to do in Petersburg, watch the paint dry? No, I don't think so. We have TV! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got a few more things to do on the on the YouTube channel for changing descriptions and doing all sorts of stuff. Maintenance day. Yeah, well, I'm tired. You but tired? I'm tired. Well, I did all that cleaning today. I went down to the boat this morning. And hold on. Wait. Hold that thought. Yeah, what have we accomplished today? Today? Um... I went over and gave Marina some money for the awnings. That's right, that's right. another $300. Katoosh! Um, <laughs> Sloosh! <laughs> yeah, and I went down to the boat. Well, I, I had to fill a bucket with hot water here because I can't get hot water down at the harbor. So I filled a bucket with uh, hot water, mixed up the TSP solution, took it down to the boat, um, and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, and then I brought the hose in and I rinsed it off with the hose uh, inside the boat there and then I pumped the bilge that was going to be my next question <laughs> and I pumped the bilge <laughs> yeah well what else are you going to do what else are you going to do what else are you going to do then I went uh, then I, uh, I I rigged up the fan and a heater and set it on low and left it for an hour walked up to Keto's had a cup of coffee with Rick and um, Rick Keto and then we went uh, then I went back down to the boat after about uh, half an hour and uh, turned everything off uh, all looking fairly dry yeah fairly pretty dry and then uh, I came back up here and we uh, we started on this started painting sanding and painting and yeah looking good yeah excellent started out a little pink you were I know a little concerned well it's old paint I mean <laughs> I think I said already that uh, all we really wanted to do is reseal this after we cut these holes in it and sanded it and there were some worn spots. So all we really wanted to do was to reseal this wood. It's good quality plywood. It's in great shape. No problem there. And it's going to be under the under the bunk. So no one's going to see it anyway. These pieces here are the V-berth right here. That's all of this. There's uh, one, two, three pieces, and then there's that big triangle piece that we still need to do. Yeah, well, while I'm thinking of it, thanks for following along with our project. Uh, thanks especially for all the positive comments. The suggestions have been great. Um, every time someone suggests something, we run it down, we check it out. We've been using most of them, and we're going to continue to use a lot of the things that you guys have suggested. So. Keep Please, it up. <laughs> yeah, by all means, you know, like the video if you like it. Uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, and um, I think that's about it. I think so. I think so. Cool. Um, what's for supper? <laughs> I'm getting hungry too. <laughs> oh, you know what I need to do is make a pot of beans. I've got to make a pot of Uncle Tom's beans and some Henry David cornbread this afternoon. Ooh. This evening. Cornbread. This evening. Yay. It's almost 5 o'clock. All right. Quitting time! <laughs>